Hey, welcome to the channel. This is my second YouTube channel, so hit that subscribe button. It helps me out, it helps the algorithm out, and it allows people to find the video so they can watch the video. This video is about Yellowstone. None of the video scenes that you'll see in this video have been edited, color graded. It's just pure raw footage of Yellowstone. So when you go to Yellowstone, what you see in this video is what you'll see in Yellowstone. A lot of people say that you can't see Yellowstone in one day. Nah, yeah, not necessarily true. We saw Yellowstone in one day. We started about 6.30 in the morning when we arrived to the gate and we didn't leave till about 7.30 in the evening which was still kind of bright so that was cool. I will say the only thing that we did not see in Yellowstone was the north entrance to Yellowstone. The Yellowstone north entrance is permanently closed at the moment. Um, if you do go I recommend calling Yellowstone National Park just to get a clarification on that. But when we were there in August um, According to Yellowstone, it will stay permanently closed until further notice. So, also, in the month of August, keep in mind, if you do go in August, August is mating season for the bison. So the bison will attack the car, the bison will attack people if you're not careful. Because August is mating season for the bison, so just keep that in mind. I recommend August. August, it wasn't hot, it wasn't cold. Um, the weather does change periodically, so I will recommend bringing some clothes to keep you warm, uh, bring some t-shirts because the weather changes periodically. Other than that, let's jump into the video and let's watch it. All right, so now we are on our way to Yellowstone National Park. Our first stop along the way was in St. George, Utah at Kraken Barrel. And man, do they have good breakfast. We also went through Idaho, Wyoming, all the way up into Yellowstone. The weather did change. It rained on us. It poured on us. It was cloudy. It was sunny. Back and forth. So here we go. Alright, so we finally made it to Yellowstone. It's about 6.30 in the morning and this is where our journey begins inside Yellowstone National Park.
Now that we're inside Yellowstone National Park, our first stop along the way is the Madison River. Now the Madison River is approximately about 183 miles long, uh, running from Wyoming to Montana. It's a very beautiful river, must see. Alright, so our next stop on our route, we're making our way into the Lower Geyser Basin. With over half the world's geyser, Yellowstone offers tremendous opportunities to see these geologic wonders in action. We're going to explore the mechanics of the geyser, their role in the park's history, and what they teach us about the world that we live in. So here we go. This is some amazing stuff right here. Check it out. Okay, bacteria mats. What are bacteria mats? Well, the green, the brown, and orange mats are cyanobacteria, which can live in waters as hot as 167 Fahrenheit. At this temperature, they are usually yellow and green. They become orange, rust, or brown as the water cools. They're pretty awesome. Check it out.
Okay, so the fountain paint pot is a mud pot located in the lower Geyser Basin in Yellowstone. The fountain paint pot is named for the reds, yellows, and browns of the mud in the area. Okay, so if you notice the different colors in the mud pots, it's because of the iron oxidation causes reds, browns, and yellows in the mud pots near active geysers. That's pretty cool. So this is the bubbly mud. Okay, so the leather pool, as of March 2022, the leather pool reached the high of about approximately 139 in Fahrenheit. The pool with leather-like brown bacteria after the 1959 Hibgen Lake earthquake, water temperatures rose and killed the bacteria, and it was noted to have erupted. Now, it has cooled and once again supports the brown bacteria. So just in case you're wondering what leather pool is, there you go. Okay, so we're still down in the lower geyser basin. The twig geyser uh, tends to erupt frequently with eruptions that can last over an hour and that sends water two to 10 feet in the air. Twig geyser does appear to be connected to the fountain geyser. It has an average temperature around 194 Fahrenheit. The geyser tends to erupt every two to three hours. So keep that in mind if you want to check that out.
Okay, so the fountain geyser looks like a placid blue pool as its water slowly rises. The geyser gives little warning of its pending eruption, but when it blows, it's pretty cool. You have to check it out. It's one of the most beautiful geysers in the park. So we're at the Midway Geyser Basin. All around beautiful sight. It's gorgeous. Beyond. Okay, so the geyser crater is a 200 by 300 foot crater that constantly discharges more than 4,000 gallons of water per minute into the Firehole River. Very impressive, you ask me.
Okay, so the Grand Prismatic Springs in Yellowstone is the largest hot springs in the United States and the third largest in the world. That's pretty impressive. All right, so here we're driving into the Old Faithful to grab something to eat. Um, it's still around breakfast time, roughly around 11 o'clock in the morning. They did have a buffet inside, so we went to go check it out, have some breakfast, and then we're going to watch the eruption. So stay tuned. Okay, so the turquoise pool is a hot spring in the Midway Geyser Basin of Yellowstone. Turquoise pool has a temperature between 142 and 160 Fahrenheit and was named by members of the Hayden Expedition of the 1878. Very long time ago. Okay, so we're still in Old Faithful. A lot of people have gathered around to watch the eruption of the geyser. Old Faithful is a cone geyser in Yellowstone. It was named in 1870 during the Washburn-Langford expedition. 
It was the first geyser in the park to be named. It is highly predictable geothermal feature and has erupted every 44 minutes to two, two hours since 2000. Very impressive. Okay, so from the west entrance of Yellowstone, as you can see, they've been working on the roads uh, quite a bit. And I believe the north entrance is still closed. you're looking at is Yellowstone Lake. This lake goes on forever. It's gorgeous. You can also rent boats here. Take on the lake or if you have one, uh, you can take one down the lake as well. Way out there you have somebody on the boat. It looks like, a, it looks like an island way out there.
absolutely gorgeous. The weather right now is about 62 degrees. And as you know, we're in August. Nice weather, gorgeous lake. Looking yes. You guys coming right out of cold oh, lord what big guy okay so we're at the mud volcano and let me tell you it smells out here Better bring a gas mask. It smells like rotten eggs. Fair warning. Bring a gas mask. Because if not, you're gonna be like, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I'm telling you, straight up, it reeks. But it's pretty cool must see all right so once again we're at the mud volcano pause the video and read <laughs> oh lord smells like rotten eggs up here and believe it or not i'm actually getting dizzy from recording the smell is so bad i'm gonna Try to give you guys one more view. Then I gotta turn around and go back to the car. I can't take the smell. Alright guys. Check this out. It's pretty cool. Let me zoom out for you guys. So once again, highly recommend bringing sort of, some sort of mask because you're going to need it. Looks like green slime out there. It's like a cesspool. <laughs> oh Lord. Lord help us. Let me get around this guy over here. Some more uh, mud volcanoes coming up. Check that out. You want to take a dip in that. So, just another part of Yellowstone that you must see. Absolutely gorgeous. This actually looks like a set from Bonanza, the old TV show. Just beautiful. 
Highly recommend it. Take some time, come up to Yellowstone, and enjoy Mother Nature. So this is the uh, Yellowstone Grand Canyon. It's a beautiful waterfall. Absolutely gorgeous. It's true. Yeah. I can get a picture of the There's a trail you can walk on all the way down to the bottom and unfortunately the trail is closed. All right, so we finally made our way down to Lamar Valley where all the bison and buffaloes are. And in Yellowstone, believe it or not, there's approximately about 5,450 bisons that were counted for in 2021. It's a lot of bisons. So once again, this is August of 2022. This is mating season for the bison, so we had to be very cautious. Uh, luckily, nobody was attacked. Um, they didn't attack the vehicles when we were there. This is mating season, so we were very cautious, even though we got very close to the bisons. It was pretty cool, very impressive.
and ladies and gentlemen, we got action. We got some big boys out here just chilling. Oh yeah. We don't want to get too close because this is mating season and they will rush you. So, we're not going to get too close and we're not going to bother them. some more big boys out here stay tuned all right but again we got some big boys out here and I think big boy over there wants some action since this is mating season look at these guys Which is huge yeah there's a bunch of them out here This guy's looking at me like, um, we need to go. I'm going. Don't even trip. We'll leave you alone. What's going on, big guy? Woo, guy, you guys are big. What's going on? What you guys conversating about? All right. Sounds good. What's going on, big guys? like mama's coming with her babies oh she wants to have a little fun out there yeah nice Like I said, this is mating season, so I don't want to get too close. I mean, we're already close to them as it is, but they're everywhere out here. Some more big boys out here. They own the road. And they're big. Let's go down a little ways and see what's down the road. boy back there is tearing a tree down. Uh, I think they're talking to each other.
Nuki. He's trying to get some Nuki. It's mating season. <laughs> Look at big guy said, mmm, it smells good. Oh, he's leaving. He got shy and he left. What's up, big guy?
said, maybe later, not today. Big guy, you want to talk about it? You want to talk about it, big guy? Good, babe. No? Oh my god, babe. That's too much. Oh my god. That is so close. Hi. I just want to know where you're going. Oh my goodness. I'll escort you. Come on, follow me. Yeah, baby, what do you think about that? Now that is a beautiful scene right here. Look how gorgeous that is. We got some folks down yonder. And it looks like we have a gentleman way over there fishing. Just enjoying the good life up here in Yellowstone. This is not a good situation. Walking and the bison is walking near me. This is not good. That bison looked like he was ready to rush me. Oh Lord, I think my wife is here. Time to go. <laughs> He's like, Going for a hike at the Towers Falls. So I found the trail. And we're pretty far down. Let's keep going. All right, guys. So we're going back up the trail. I'm out of breath. The trail went nowhere. So don't follow my path on the trail because it's a waste of time. I'm out of breath. But we're almost there. Going back to the top. Uh, right up and close with a deer. Right there, baby. And we have three more over there across the river. What's going on, big guy? I think he's hollering at his friends over there. It's 
pretty cool. Right there. This is pretty awesome to get this close to a deer. I think he's trying to get his friend's attention. Is that? I haven't seen a deer all day and right now it's um, 6.55 in the evening and they're finally coming out. I haven't seen no bears or wolves but it's pretty cool. Got some bison today, buffalo, now some deers. That's awesome. Hopefully I can catch a bear before we leave Yellowstone tonight. That'll be awesome. I think he's trying to get his friend's attention. Or they're spooked about something because they just froze. Plus, well, they did a minute ago. All right, moving on. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one right here. Look at that. Oh, I got a bear. They just come out everywhere. That's cool. I think, oh, there's another one. Oh, look at this. I think they're just so used to being around people every day that they don't run. That's awesome. The other one said, I want some leche. <laughs> That must be the mom back there. I 
I said cool. Are you Those three are still across the river. All right, so we just left Yellowstone. It's about 7.30 in the evening. Uh, we had a great time, great experience, saw a lot. Highly recommend it. And keep in mind, if you're planning a trip to Yellowstone, the north and northeast entrance are closed. Uh, right now, we're gonna head over to the Grand Teton just for a moment. And we're gonna check out um, Jenny Lake. And then after that, that'll end our trip to Yellowstone. So once again, thanks for visiting the channel. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, it helps me out. It helps out my YouTube channel, and it helps out the algorithm, which will allow people to find this video and to watch this video. Once again, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, so we're at Grand Teton National Park.